folks, today we are taking a look at Transformers Prime Cyberverse Commander Class Trail Cutter. Now, for those of you not in the know, Trail Cutter is the new name for the character known as Trail Breaker. Check out the uh, IDW Trail Breaker Spotlight for little inside jokes on that one. As you can see, Trail Breaker, or I'm sorry, Trail Cutter is definitely living up to his name with all the spiky bits he has off of him. He's got uh, spiky bits up here and spiky bits coming off of his... Well, I'm not sure what you would call these. Fist bits, I guess? Overall, the figure does look good. The face, however, is not really the classic trail breaker face. It is more of a stylized version. However, something that is really cool is notice this little bit up here, this little molding. This is a definite G1 throwback to the original G1 figure where he had the head and then he had like guns ports plugged into the top of his head. As you can also see, he has weapons on his shoulders. Now, the reason I keep moving him over to the side like this is he, I wanted to show you, he is a remold of the already released Ironhide figure from the same line. He has the same transformation and pretty much all of the same parts, except different shoulder pads, different, um, I guess you would call these hood bits, and different parts that make up the sides of the truck mode. Though the black and red combination of the two really works well, you would think that these guys could possibly be brothers. Well, they're actually mold brothers, not actual character brothers like Sunshaker and Sideswipe. Trollcutter's weapon is this weird... I don't even know what this is supposed to be. It looks like it's got it's got a push missile, which you push the missile and it really doesn't go anywhere. And then it has this weird cutting arm. I, I wonder if this is from the game. I haven't seen anything that says this is from the recent game, but it's okay. I like Hard Shell's weapon and Ironhide's weapons better, but this one by itself, it's all right. Trollcutter's transformation starts with just taking these bits that are his shoulders and folding them up and completely out of the way. Then take the shoulder, or I'm sorry, the, uh, well, I guess you would call them shoulder pads maybe, or neck pads. Then take the actual shoulders and fold them up all the way, making sure that these little black pegs are out of the way completely. Because if they aren't, then you won't be able to take the entire rear of the figure from the neck down and turn it completely around 180 degrees. Once you've got that done, you can take the front of the figure and peg it into place, and then take the bits that are underneath the forearms and fold them up until they stop and form the sides of the vehicle mode. Then we can bring the, those sides over the front chest of the figure and just start sliding the wheels up into place and then dropping the, the hood cannons down. Then for the feet, fold the feet up and fold them into the bed of the pickup truck and put the legs together and then fold those down and snap them into place. And here we have Trail Cutter's vehicle mode. I think I saw this in Twisted Metal. The vehicle mode for Trail Cutter is this really cool, stylized, pickup, armored pickup truck. And like I said, it looks like something out of either Twisted Metal or maybe, um, oh, what's that other? Mad Max. Yep, that's the movie I was thinking of. I can't think of any other car combat movies off the top of my head, but it definitely looks like something that, well, you know, there was Mr. Plow and then there's Mr. Evil Plow. So that's what we have here. I do like the look of the alt mode, though it is an armored version of what we have from Ironhide. And I think Ironhide just works better. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Trail Cutter here, not by a long shot, but I just like the overall look of Ironhide versus Trail Cutter better. That's just a personal opinion, and I just think that this works better than the guns we've got going on here. Nothing wrong with Trail Cutter, though. I just like Ironhide better. So as a figure, Trail Cutter isn't bad at all, especially if you were never able to get the Ironhide figure. I think this is a decent upgrade to the mold. I would like to see a bit more color exposed in the figure, though. But Trail Breaker was always black, so... Trail Cutter, I think, works as a G1 homage. Now, later this year, in the uh, one of the Generations lines, we're going to be getting a what I believe is going to be a Generations Trail Cutter and a Generations Hoist. 
So those guys were Mold Brothers in the original G1 figure line. So I'm really looking forward to those figures. But for right now, this figure's pretty good. I still like the original Cyberverse Ironhide figure, though. I think that one is a better realized figure, but Trailcutter is still pretty cool on his own.